Devarim, Deuteronomy 1. These are the words which Moshe spoke unto all Yasharael on this side of the Yardin, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Lavan and Chetzaroth and Di Zahav. There are eleven days' journey from Chorev, by the way of Mount Seir, unto Kadesh Barnea. And it came to pass in the fortieth year, in the eleventh month, on the first day of the month, that Moshe spoke unto the children of Yasharael, according unto all that Yahuwah had given him in commandment unto them. After he had slain at Saikon, the king of the Amorim, which dwelt in Chesban, and at Og, the king of Bashan, which dwelt at Ashtaroth in Edri. On this side of the Yardin, in the land of Moab, began Moshe to declare at this Torah, saying, Yahuwah Eloheinu spoke unto us in Chorev, rather in Chorev, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount Mount of Emorim, and unto all the places nigh thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the valley, and in the Negev, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanim, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Parath. Behold, I have set at the land before you. Go in and possess at the land which Yahuwah swore unto your fathers, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, to give unto them and to their seed after them. And I spoke unto you at that time, saying, I am not able to bear you myself alone. Yahuwah Eloheikam, has multiplied you. And behold, ye are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. Yahuwah Elohai of your fathers make you a thousand times so many more as ye are and bless you as he has promised you. How can I myself alone bear your cumbrance and your burden and your strife Take you wise men and understanding, and know among your tribes, and I will make them rulers over you. And ye answered me and said, The thing which you have spoken is good for us to do. So I took the chief of your tribes, wise men and known, and made at them heads over you, captains over thousands, and captains over hundreds, and captains over fifties, and captains over tens, and officers among your tribes. And I charged at your judges at that time, saying, Hear the causes between your brethren, and judge righteously between every man and his brother, and the stranger that is with him. Ye shall not respect persons in judgment, but... Ye shall hear the small as well as the great. Ye shall not be afraid of the face of man, for the judgment is Elohim's. And the cause that is too hard for you, bring it unto me, and I will hear it. And I commanded you at that time, at all things which ye should do. And when we departed from Choreb, 
we went through at all of that great and terrible wilderness, which ye saw by the way of the mountain of the Emorim, as Yahuwah Eloheinu commanded us. And we came to Kadesh Barnea. And I said unto you, Ye are come unto the mountain of the Emorim, which Yahuwah Eloheinu gives unto us. Behold, Yahuwah Eloheke has set at the land before you. Go up and possess it, as Yahuwah Elohei of your fathers has said unto you, Fear not, neither be discouraged. And ye came near unto me, every one of you, and said, We will send men before us, and they shall search us out at the land, and bring us word again by at what way we must go up, and at into what cities we shall come. And the saying pleased me well, and I took twelve men of you, one of a tribe, and they turned and went up into the mountain and came unto the valley of Ashkol and searched it out. And they took of the fruit of the land in their hands and brought it down unto us and brought us word again and said, It is a good land which Yahuwah Elheinu gives us. Notwithstanding, ye would not go up, but rebelled against at the commandment of Yahuwah Eloheke. And ye murmured in your tents and said, Because Yahuwah hated us, he has brought us forth out of the land of Mitzrayim to deliver us into the hand of the Amorim, to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged at our heart, saying, The people are greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we have seen the sons of the Anakim there. Then I said unto you, Dread not, neither be afraid of them. Yahuwah Elohekem, which goes before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Mitzrayim before your eyes. And in the wilderness, where you have seen how that Yahuwah Elohekem bore you as a man bears at his son in all the way that ye went until ye came into this place. Yet in this thing ye did not believe Yahuwah Elohekem, who went in the way before you to search you out a place to pitch your tents in, in fire by night, to show you by what way ye should go, and in a cloud by day. And Yahuwah heard at the voice of your words, and was wroth, and swore, saying, Surely there shall not one of these men of this evil generation see that at good land, which I swore to give unto your fathers, save Caleb, the son of Yephunah, he shall see it. And to him will I give at the land that he has trodden upon, and to his children, because he has wholly followed Yahuwah. Also, Yahuwah was angry with me for your sakes, saying, You also shall not go in thither. But Yahusha, the son of Nun, which stands before you, he shall go in thither. Encourage him, for he shall cause at Yashadael to inherit it. Moreover, your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, and your children, which in that day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. But as for you, turn you and take your journey into the wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. 
Then ye answered and said unto me, We have sinned against Yahuwah. We will go up and fight according to all that Yahuwah, Eloheinu, commanded us. And when ye had girded on every man at his weapons of war, ye were ready to go up into the hill. And Yahuwah said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest ye be smitten before your enemies. So I spoke unto you, and ye would not hear, but rebelled against at the commandment of Yahuwah, and went presumptuously up into the hill. And the Emorim, which dwelt in that mountain, came out against you, and chased you, as bees do, and destroyed you in Seir, even unto Chomar. And ye returned and wept before Yahuwah. But Yahuwah would not hearken to your voice, nor give ear unto you. So ye abode in Kadesh many days, according unto the days that ye abode there.